Hi, I'm Rachel Chloe, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a portal in FilterGraph. I am currently at filtergraph.vanderbilt.edu. Here you can see the home page. It describes FilterGraph and what it can do. There's a portal you can play around with, but we're just going to click this button to get started. Creating an account on FilterGraph is completely free. All you need is an email address. Here you can see what files you can upload and some troubleshooting tips if you can't create an account. I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Here you can see portals that I already have uploaded, but I'm going to create a new portal so that you can see how that works. Here you enter the name of your portal. It'll become the end of your URL, but you can change that. Just select the file you want to upload. This one's a text file. Here on the right you can see a list of supported file types like ASCII, Excel, or FITS files. There are also some more troubleshooting tips if your file won't upload. Just click Submit and you'll get a preview of what your file will look like in FilterGraph. Then you'll be taken to a customization page. Here you can change the name or description of the file you just uploaded. You can also add descriptions to the parameters in your file. This is nice for people who maybe aren't familiar with your data set using the portal. This will make the initial portal settings whatever they were when you copied the save and share URL from your portal. Checking reset to defaults will return it to the defaults originally set by FilterGraph. Here is the portal edit page. You can edit the basic information of the portal, such as the name. You can also delete the portal. You have the option to upload a new file to the portal, and you can return to the customization page by clicking on the arrow to the right of the file name. Admins allows you to share permanent editing privileges with other people just by giving them this code. Click on the button up top to go to your portal, and now your portal is ready to be used. That was just a quick introduction to creating a portal in FilterGraph, but more specific information on each of the features can be found on the FilterGraph wiki. Check out our next video to see how to use FilterGraph portals and try it out for yourself. Just register, upload a dataset, and start graphing.